Today, we're gonna make this mailbox go from this to this. All with spray paint. Let's get into it. So this is just a mailbox that my buddy Mitch had in his attic. It's kind of dinged up. All right, next day, primer is set and we're just using any random stuff that we have laying around. All aerosol stuff. I'm not spraying anything out of a gun. This is Rust-Oleum glitter. So we got our silver metal flake base on and out of an aerosol can, I would say that that's pretty good. We'll let that sit overnight. All right, so I got it in clear. Uh, it's just 2K out of a can. It's nothing crazy. Here's how it looks now. And honestly, I mean, it looks cool as it is, but I'm gonna take some 600 grit and I'm gonna wet sand this down smooth. That way I can get some tape to stick to it. And then we're just gonna start playing around with tape. All right, I got her all wet sanded down. I didn't go super crazy with it, just enough to knock any high stuff down and really give our tape something to bite into. Here's where we're at so far. I did end up throwing another line in here just to make another panel. So we got three decent sized panels. So I am gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Maybe not quite exactly the same, but you know, put this line together and figure out what I'm gonna do on that side. You guys already watched me do this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one off camera and I'll show you guys what I have when I'm done. All right, here's the other side. So my buddy who I'm painting this mailbox for, uh, he made me some vinyls that had their last name on it and one with their house number on it. I was hoping that the house number one was gonna be a little smaller because there is a good spot in here and I kind of wanted to make a border around it, but that's okay. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with panel work or anything like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some brown candy out of a can around all my tape work, around their last name. And I think after that, I'm gonna finish it off with orange. We'll see how it looks. So all I did was spray some of that beaver brown over our taped off areas. I might dust around the Nixons a little bit more. And then I think what I'm gonna do is either, I might peel the Nixon sticker and the house number off and then spray everything in Tropicali orange or just leave those on, spray it all in Tropicali Orange, 
and then peel everything off. Actually, I'm just gonna peel all the tape off and then I'm gonna hit it in that Tropicali orange. So it'll all be kind of subtle. So let's do that. brown is pretty much cured and this is really gonna pop when you get clear on it it's not perfect of course like I said we're just learning we're having fun but I really like it guys here it is paints all cured I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing some clear on it I think it's turning out slick medium coats on it look at how the flake is really starting to pop through too not too bad so far for a little spray paint job with leftover material I like it a lot I think it's really coming along nice and then see how the browns and the reds are blending really well together too the brown really just kind of gives it a little bit of depth all right, so I got about six coats of clear on it. It definitely needs a wet sand, but we're not going to do that because I painted this for free with all my spare materials. So my buddy that owns that mailbox, he's going to have to wet sand and polish it. He's going to have to put something into it, but I like it. I like it a lot. Not too bad with uh, spray paint. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you everybody for watching. Also, like I've said it before in the video, I'm by no means a professional. I'm not even competent. I just watched some YouTube videos on how to do it. I've got a buddy that's been painting for a long time on his own stuff. Uh, I've learned a lot from him. And some of you guys might've actually come from some of those videos where we painted his 55 Chevy and did the roof on it. He did all the work, I helped him with the tape work. And I know I'm gonna get ripped apart for it, but there's a lot of portions on that video, uh, or on that process where I actually didn't even wear a respirator. So I know I'm gonna get tore apart for it. I know it's warranted. Um, I definitely learned. I normally don't do a lot of paint stuff. So normally it's, you know, I'll make a little bracket for something and I just got a quick spray it black, no big deal. And for that, I'm not, I don't put a respirator on. Maybe I should. So the next one, I will definitely be wearing a respirator for, you know, all my paint work. Um, I've got a lot to learn. I have some skateboard decks that I ordered. I've actually got one in flake right now. That's probably going to be my next video. Uh, that one, I'm going to try some real lowrider type designs with my tape. And it's going to be hard and a big process, but I'm going to try it. 
because the only way to learn is just by doing it, not by watching other guys do it and then say, oh, at some point I'm gonna try it. Just do it. That one, I'm actually gonna use the airbrush. I'm gonna use the paint gun, the whole nine. So the next one I'm thinking is gonna turn out a little bit better. This one still turned out you know, pretty good, I think, for, for what I was working with. And my big thing is I wanna get a lot more confident at it. I wanna get more competent at it because when the F100 is ready for paint and body work, I wanna do all the paint myself and I'm gonna do a <clears throat> patina style paint job on it. And then the roof is gonna be similar colors to the patina on the outside, but it's gonna be all metal flake with some panel work. I think it's gonna look really cool. I've got a really cool idea in my head on how it's gonna lay out already. One other thing too, uh, merch. Uh, I've been asked about it by a couple people. Obviously I have a pretty small following, so when I say a couple, I literally mean like two or three. Uh, it's a Shopify store that I launched. Uh, it, actually, I put it together like three or four months ago uh, because I have it tied to another company that does print to order. So when someone puts an order in, they'll print it and ship it out. Uh, I wanted to order a few things for myself as a customer first because I wanted to see what the quality was gonna be like. And I wanted to see what shipping was gonna be like too because you know, I didn't want to order something and have it take a month because that's just going to piss people off. It is about a week and a half, two week lead time, probably from the time you order it to the time that you get it. If you guys are interested in that, I'm going to drop the link in the description below. If you're not, I just thank you for watching and I thank you for watching all the way to the end. We'll catch you guys on the next one.